Um, the next thing here is the change aircraft. Here, as you can see, I have currently five crews down here. You can purchase more crews for eagles. At the beginning, you have only three. You can purchase two more slots for lions. This is very useful because you have more planes to spawn and much more um, possibilities um, if you want to fly to choose which aircraft you want to fly in a mission and additional slots can be bought for eagles and as you can see each slot symbolizes a crew and each crew has to be trained on the aircraft first before you can use it so on the change aircraft button you can change um, your aircraft so for example my crew is skilled on the mc202 the mc200 serie 3 they are highlighted in yellow the planes your crew is trained on and you can um, of course train them on other aircrafts you have unlocked and bought by just clicking on them this will cost you a little amount of money because your crew, crew has to learn how to deal with the aircraft first and of course the crews do not lose any operational skill on aircraft they all were already trained to okay next thing down here is the your crew and the weapons with the weapons selection you can see the unlocks and the weapons and the modification you can get for this plane as modifications they are installing a new engine and air resistance installing a new engine will um, make your plane make your plane faster and speeding up faster and air resistance will make it faster too and you can add pylons those are um, specific uh, things on the bottom of your um, plane to um, apply bombs so for example I want to apply a 250 kilogram bomb I just select it here or in the mission and as you can see this thing is the pylon and here's the bomb to unlock those modifications you have to reach a specific amount of um, crew on your plane experience first and for example on the 190F8 I did not unlock the pylon this pylon to carry a 1000 kilogram bomb yet because I don't have the plane experience yet and I need to unlock this pylon first so I can just buy it no I will not buy it okay as you can see oh, I did bad example uh, something other uh, okay as you can see I need aircraft experience 390,000 I only have 360,000 with this aircraft to unlock this pylon and after I unlock this pylon I can unlock the bomb down here you can buy all the weapons if you want them it's useful if you have a new aircraft with many weapons unlocked and you can just click there to buy them all okay next thing down here as you can see I'm currently in the tab aviation later we will get army and fleet 2 the moment it's only aviation only planes um, if you go with your mouse over a plane you get information about it first the name then the type of plane it's currently a fighter Below that a small picture and below the picture you have the XP bar of the plane. Unless the XP bar is not finished you get five times the experience with this plane. Um, below this you can see the rank of the plane. The higher the rank the more experience you get and the reward bonus. The reward bonus is a small bonus for, um, of, for example if you fly a plane without reward bonus you get less money for killing enemy planes or tanks than with a plane with a higher reward bonus then you can see the condition condition 100 percent the aircraft is operational everything is okay if it's less your aircraft has to be repaired this can either be done by paying for it with lines you can see the average repair cost 
If you crash an arcade or get shot in an arcade, you have to pay most of the time the average repair costs. Um, if your plane condition is zero, you have to play, pay about three times the average repair costs. The time to repair for free, crew included, is affected by your crew skill, how, they, how fast they can fix the plane, and if you wait the time they need to fix the plane, it's for free. Then you can see maximum speed. The maximum speed depends on the altitude because the air is thinner in higher altitude and thicker on the ground. So the engines has to be built on a specific altitude when which it performs best. Um, the maximum altitude, how high your plane can go, the turn time is the time it needs to turn a full circle 360 degrees and the rate of climb is how high how many meters per second you can climb with this aircraft take off run how many how long the runway has to be at least to take off um, armament presets are possibilities to add for example bombs that's the armament preset or without bombs as you can see one two three four Next thing is the one second burst mass with which you can con compare aircrafts um, how much ammunition in kilogram they shoot in one second. So for example the 109F4 shoots 1.93 kilogram of ammunition in one second and the 190D12 shoots uh, 6.51 kilogram per second with a little bit more. Below this you can see the armament. The first thing are machine guns. You can see the caliber and the ammunition. Um, this one has um, 1000 um, machine gun ammunition per gun. It's per gun always, I think. Yeah, no, no, it's not, it's not per gun. No, it's all overall, overall ammunition. Okay. Uh, that's it. Um, in with the hangar button, you can view your plane in the hangar. You have information about the weapons again, information from the Wikipedia, and you can paint your aircraft. First, you have to let select a skin. You can unlock new skin by doing specific things. So for example, I have lots of skins unlocked for the 109F4 because I play it very often. And to paint it, you just select the skin first, like this one, double click it, and then you have 40 call slots if you have a premium account. If not, you can only access the first two. You need a premium account to continue. Nope, I do not want to get a premium account right now. So let's paint it with only two slots. Right. Okay, the core slot lines. You can select from different categories, alias, pictures, alias inscriptions, access, uh, access and on blues. Uh, just select what you want. You can just scroll through them. I'm just looking for a nice black horse. I don't know where it is. Access, I think. Ah, here it is. Okay, just select it. After that, you can... Hmm. Ah, this should not turn. Why is this turning? Okay, you should be able to rotate your decal with uh, by holding Alt and scrolling with the mouse wheel, make it rotate. And you should be able to change the size by pressing Shift and scroll in, scroll out, make it bigger, smaller. You can flip it, which, or you can mirror it. Just click where you want it. Here, nice. Click back and you see I have a nice black horse with wings on my wing. Okay. 
Next thing is a research tree. You can open the research tree by clicking on the research tree button. Every Air Force has its own research tree, as you can see. Soviet, British, Japanese. Mm, let's stay at the Japanese Air Force tree. Um, as you can see, the yellow backgrounded planes are the planes I have unlocked currently. At the beginning you only have reserve planes. If there are two, picture, two planes on a picture, just click it and it will open more of the same kind. Um, those are the reserve airplanes you have at the beginning. They are free to repair, uh, instantly repaired, but you don't have any reward bonus and don't get much, ex much experience by flying them. So you want to uh, unlock new. You can unlock new airplanes by ranking up in the country's air force. Then just clicking on the aircraft you have unlocked. So for example, um, let's see, maybe on the Russian, yeah, on the P2 and just click on to order, order them. And after you ordered them, you can click here on the put into service or you will be asked if you want to put them into service and um, at them, put them into service on a specific uh, crew slot. Good. Um, the other thing in, reserve tree, in the research tree is you have um, if the rank of the plane is red or the amount of lines is red, you don't have the lines or the rank to unlock the plane. You cannot, if there's a lock in front of them, you first need to buy the plane before. You cannot sell your planes, this would be senseless because you can fly them later if you want again. And it's fun to fly low level planes. Okay, the next thing is the big red to battle button. With this you can access the player versus player game modes, arcade battles, historical battles and full real battles. I will explain this later. If you want to play right now, change this to any available to get more players. Okay, next thing is the squad and chat feature built in. You can create a squad by just clicking on here or we'll show you another option can click here to open the chat first. This is general chat. People are talking a lot of shit here about F-35 and other things and you can access rooms here. You can create your own room if you want to. Just type in slash help to get more information on the possibilities you have to do here in the chat or you can just Join, for example, the arcade battles room, historical battles room, or if you speak Russian and want to speak a little bit Russian, the Russian general chat is open to you. Um, next thing is your friends and contacts list. You can add people as a friend easily from the chat by just clicking on them, add as friend, add to blacklist, complain about them, invite to squad, gamer card, send message. Or you can just search for them, typing in their names. So for example, if I want to search my squad member JD2 OS, I just type in JD2 O, click enter, and I find him and can add him as a friend. But I already added him as a friend, so I can remove him first and add him again. Okay, of course you can send him a personal message too if you would learn. Um, invite him to a squad, remove him from your friend list, send him a personal message. As you can see, if it says no such nick channel, he's offline. Okay. Um, people on your blacklist cannot send you personal messages and you don't see if they type something in general chat. It's good for some subjects if you want, don't want to read every shit they are put in into the general chat. The fought together uh, thing, um, everybody who was in your squad uh, and in a battle with you appears here. And in the friends there, are all your friends, you can see green is they are online, red is they are offline. Yeah, 
Send a message, gamer card, invite to squad, remove from French. Um, yeah. That's the squad thing. If you want to invite somebody to a squad, right click them, invite to squad, or just click here. You have the options down here too. After you invited somebody to a squad, you can wait until he joined the squad. And after he joined the squad, you can just click to battle, select the game mode, click to battle, and he will join you with you. If you are joining a squad, if you get a squad invitation, you see a green um, link popping up here. You have to click on it. It says um, name invited you to a squad. Click on it. You will get into this tab with the squad. And you have a ready button. You have to click ready before, before the squad leader can go to battle. Okay, I will explain the squad thing later with another if I have somebody to form a squad. Uh, squads can be up to four players at the moment. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and see you soon. I will do other tutorials too.